This is MSI MPZ Z490 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi motherboard. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the correct settings for USB boot. If you would like to reinstall Windows 10 or 11, the procedure would be the same. So first of all, you should have the USB thumb drive. If you don't know how to create one, you can check. I do have video link in the description. So connect it and then make sure your keyboard and mouse also connected. Now, if the PC is turned on, make sure you switch it off completely. Once it's switched off, then press the power button again to turn it on. And then straight away, come back to your keyboard and keep pressing delete button until you see the BIOS screen popped up. So keep pressing it. Now I can see this is visible. All right, so that's the main screen. So MSI nowadays, they brought two different interface for the actual BIOS. This is called advanced mode. Another one is easy mode. So from here, we need to click on security from the settings. Once you click on security, it's going to open a subfolder. It's going to give us all the sub menus in there. So from here, we need to go down to secure boot and make sure we need to enable it. By default, that is always enabled, but if not, make sure you enable it if you would like to install Windows in UEFI. If you want in legacy, you can disable it. Okay, it's up to you. So now we're going to press ESC button twice to go back to the main settings menu. And from here, we're going to click on advanced, which is the second option and hit enter. All right. So from here, we need to go to USB configuration. From here, as you can see, the legacy support, we have to make it auto or disabled. Remember, if you keep the secure boot on, legacy has to be disabled or auto mode, but never enabled. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So then from this menu, we can see everything is enabled. It should be like that. Make sure you don't change anything. If anything changes, make it enable. Now press that button to go back to the main menu. Once again. And now we're going to go to boot. From here, what are you going to do? We're going to choose the boot priority option. Number one has to be the USB. So let's say if your connected USB shows the boot number three, then we have to take it back to number one. Okay, so this is boot priority option. I'm going to select my USB, which is that one. And I'm going to hit enter and it's going to show top of the list. Now everything is fine. We just need to save these changes and exit it. So system would restart and it will take you directly to your Windows setup. Okay, so press ESC button twice and save and exit. Now it's going to show you whatever your changes from the BIOS settings. It's going to show you right there before it restart. So one more time, save changes and exit. And now it shows what you've done. Okay, but it's not going to show you the secure boot is enable or disable because it was by default enable and you left it enable so it's not going to show up right here rest everything is going to show you your boot changes and then uh, you change the priority boot option and you turn on and switch off the legacy everything now it's going to take you directly to windows setup pages Good. It takes a couple of minutes. Don't be surprised if it takes 
depend on how fast your USB, the media, and the PC. Now, here you go. You're in the default Windows setup page. Choose whatever you need to choose. Click on install now. And then setup is starting. And we need to accept the terms and condition. Plus, we need to choose which way you would like to do that, either upgrade or fresh installation. So I always do fresh installation, accept the terms and condition, choose the bottom one, which is customs. Now I'm going to delete all of them. Remember, in this stage, don't delete if you do have any important data. Make sure you back it up first. If your system doesn't work, you can see how to back up data. If your computer doesn't work, the video link would be in the description. Now we're going to hit next and that's it. Now the main process would begin and it's going to copy all the files and folders to the directory and that would finalize the update settings and it would be done. So let's fast forward this video just to see until the end if it is successful or not. So finally everything has done and it seems working correctly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.